Hello, my name is Dan Kweku Yaboa, Head of Sports, Despite Media. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan Kweku Yaboa TV. Remember to turn on the notification button and be part of the DKY family. Thank you. And you follow Club and AI Social Robots. That's an assist presence for the service. The robot operating system. from your home and even from your office 
uh, where you install the cloud robot operating system. You don't need the full robot in your office or home. All you need is for the operating system to be run onto a device that we send you once you want to have the robot operating system moving. And we can see a beautiful UI of this particular uh, feature. Also, on the robot operating system, it's a gesture control feature, which allows you to use your hands uh, with some gesture features to control whatever you want to control, whatever device you have in your room. As you are seeing, uh, once you open your five fingers, it shows the help panel and uh, with English and then our local dialect showing that help and what, and then it shows directly how you can use this particular software feature on cloud. Okay, and with the facial recognition feature, I would like to talk about it more. Here, we have these uh, criminal situations that happen. What if the whole uh, countries, as we are moving to one Ghana car, try to uh, train a model where all the uh, citizens of the country is being trained with a driving robot operating system. Once uh, someone gets wanted or anything with the security cameras around the whole country and all that, we can just get the face recognition of the person and immediately send a GPS location or anything to the military or even the police service where tracking becomes very easy and fast. That is a wonderful feature that tracking robot operating system can also offer. Okay, so uh, before I leave on stage, I would like us to have a few of uh, some of the features that is on Cladi, as you just mentioned, that Cladi is a social robot. So, um, so I watched the video and I felt emotional. Okay, my name is uh, David Nyako. I am a, uh, an old student of the University of Cape Coast. I completed just, uh, I think last week, I did my graduation. Yeah. Congratulations anyway. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, my team, the name of my team is Swift Dynamics and we are into game development and then AI robotics. So as you can see, that is one of the games that they are playing now. And then the clubby robots that uh, we demonstrated, which is a, a care robot, a social robot that helps persons with disabilities and also acts as uh, a home automotive uh, agent that helps you control your house even when you are not there and takes care of everything. It helps with security, with the facial recognition, gesture control as they are testing there. You can see here. Yeah. So, Clabby has a lot of features on board. And the robot operating system that it runs on is one that was developed by our team ourselves. So, when it comes to programming, AI, and everything, I think our team has it all. I mean, I, I, I watch the video and the robot and the, the chat how did you guys manage to pull yourself together to edit the video to watch the kid be fed by the robot okay so it, it seems to be the passion a passion to help someone who needs help so uh, once we really really want to help someone who is struggling in terms of uh, they stay in the house alone or even if not alone the caretaker of someone with such disability would have to find time to do other things that will benefit him and even the person with the disability and clubby can come in and help the person with disability we really want to have a lot of functions for clubby so we've even started a research for clubby to even start cooking on its own not just to feed the person but it cooks the food and then tries to feed the person after the cooking of the food so can you take us to how it works maybe some few minutes or uh, it's, it's not done so those my viewers, yeah, he is going to take us through how it works. Although you guys should get an opportunity to watch the video, alright, but if you don't know the robot I'm talking about, this is the robot. This is the robot I'm talking about, okay? Yes. If you don't know, in fact, you can watch the video right now. I shall watch the video right now. Yes, that is the robot. That's how it works. So you guys, I mean you did so well, but how how do you start it? So people for so you Okay, uh for the robot, like uh, we said, this is it. And then it runs mainly on internet connection. And then as we hear now, we have low internet connection and all those features. But uh, based on the robot operating system, we have some of the features running on the screens as you have So seen. can you check what is on the screen right now? Let's go and check what is on your screen right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fish. Okay, so uh, you take us through what is going Okay, it's a facial welcome app. So here, all the pictures of those in the group and most of the people, they have been stored in the database. So if I come and my picture is not in the database and I show my face, the camera is supposed to give me a look. If I don't have, and if you don't stand well in front of the camera to you or no. So let me demonstrate it and see. So it's on noon. Guys, my. It's still on noon. Yes, please. So it will store into the system database. So you can, when you go out and you come back, and maybe you feel someone has entered into your house, and you have something like this in your house, it can show you who came into your house. You can have the pictures of your children in your database. So maybe when your children come, it will identify them. But when an outsider comes, it tells you that, oh, this person is unknown and this person entered into your house. So that's the whole thing about the facial recognition. Is it one part of the robot? Yes, it's one ability of the robot. Yes, it's the algorithm. So it scans the child. I don't know. Let me close this. You see it. All right. So she is demonstrating to us so that we can see how uh, the team is able to recognize the face. Yeah. It's it. It's it. 
something like this. It takes the facial, maybe the position of the mouth and everything. So it's the algorithm written by a team that helps with the feeding of the child. All right, I hope you guys will go far because this idea is fantastic idea. And I believe and I pray that whoever is watching live right now will come and support you guys to, to help you guys build so many of these robots because it was an emotional moment for me. If you don't know, that, you see the video on your screen very soon for you to know the video that I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for speaking to Dan Kweku Yaboa TV. Hello, my name is Dan Kweku Yaboa, Head of Sports, Despite Media. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan Kweku Yaboa TV. Remember to turn on the notification button and be part of the DKY family. Thank you.